Hey YouTube, BlindM23 here, bringing you all another Ark Survival Ascended video. In today's video, we'll be going over the pool system for the Superstructures mod. If you find any of this helpful to you, please make sure you all smash that like button because it does help me out a super a lot. And then of course, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. That way you all don't miss out on any future videos. And then also leave a comment on what you all want to see down below in the next video. All right, with all that out of the way, without further ado, let's go ahead and get flipped around here and get right into it. All right, y'all can see that we are here in our personal inventory. Let's go ahead and look at the pool system up here on top. We're gonna go over the right side in just a minute, but let's go ahead and get started with the left. All the way to the far left here, as you can see, this button here is for toggling the showing or hiding of the pool system. So if you don't want it up there all the time, you can click on it and it makes it disappear. And then you can just bring it up whenever you want. But for me, I like it up there all the time. Plus, definitely need it up there for the video. So we're gonna leave it up. Next thing I wanna go over is this one right here. This one right here is our repair items. So if you have an item in your inventory that needs to be repaired, which unfortunately I don't, but I'll give you an example of how it works in just a minute uh, when we go over the crafting station one. But if you have an item that needs to be repaired in your um, inventory, all you would do is select the item Click on this button, it pulls the resources over into your item, into your inventory so that you can repair the item. And then the next button here, this is what I call the crafting button. This is for like, if you're gonna craft something, this will pull the resources in. And then let's go over the box next to it real quick. So you see how there's a one in the box right now? Let's take that out, put that two in there because we wanna craft two of one item, of this item. And then we're gonna choose an item to craft. Uh, let's just do a wood sign. Just like that. Now that we've selected the wood sign, we have our number two in the box or five, ten, whatever you, however many you want to craft of the item. And then all we do now is you guys watch, watch this, watch two things right now. I want you to watch the sign because you're going to see that it changes to where we can actually craft it. And then also watch up here on the top because it's going to show, it's going to show you that it pulled the items into your inventory. Okay, here we go. Bam, click the button, pull the items into your inventory, and now it's craftable. So one, two, and there we go. We're crafting both signs that easy. It's freaking amazing. Now, this button also does something else. So let's say that I need to pull shotgun ammo for my shotgun. I would select my shotgun down here on my hotbar, just select it, and then I would come up here and I would put however many rounds I want to put in pull, which would be in this, in the, Instead of having a two there, you put, you know, you want 200 rounds, put 200 rounds. You want 100 rounds, you put 100 in there. And then you click this button there, and it'll pull shotgun and your ammo into your thing. Now, I do also want to say that it will only use, it will only pull the default ammo into your inventory for that weapon when you select it. So, like, if it's a long neck rifle, it's just going to pull the long neck uh, rifle ammo in there. And instead of, like, darts or something like that. So... That's something to note. Uh, okay, last button here on for the left side is this button here. Now this button here opens a menu, as you can see here, to be able to bring in whatever resource that you want into your inventory. So let's just say, let's go, let's just, we've been doing wood already. Let's just do wood, type it in there, and then watch this. When we select it there, it shows you every source that has wood sta saved in it every inventory that has wood saved in it it tells you how many it has right here and you can so that's i mean that's pretty cool in my opinion it tells you where it's coming from however much is in each each one of those uh sources and then these boxes here are for you to choose how many items how many of that you want to pull so if you want to pull 20 wood you would put the box right there 20 wood or if you want to pull it from this this inventory, you put it in that box. And then you come over here to this checkbox and just click on the checkbox and then it pulls it from that inventory. Look, we'll just if you leave it blank too, watch, it'll pull all of it out of there. It pulled all of it out of there. I wonder if I here, let me pull it back up. It didn't oh wait, yep, yeah, select it again. There you go. Now you see that there's only one vault that it's in. It's it missed the other one because it pulled all the resources out of the other one. So yeah, I thought that's I think that's pretty cool, and I love that feature. That way you can pull if you need to pull extra items or whatever, um, you can do so. Uh, and then okay, so that's all that. So give me just a second, and we'll get into the next one. 
All right, now we're in our replicators inventory, so we can go over the last part here of the uh, pull system. So this button here does the exact same thing as this button. Now, on this button, though, you have to select something in the inventory to bring the menu up that, that this button here brings up. But um, let's go ahead and get onto this one here. That's the crafting one. We did, it, does, it crafts the same way as you craft it over here. But here's the one that we want to go over is the repair one. Let's go ahead and grab an item to repair. Looky there, we got. We just happen to have some stuff. I went out looking for a snow owl earlier because I put that mod on the server. And let me tell you, I got beat up by some wolves. I'm just saying. All right, let's go ahead and go over this repair button here. So now we have the item in here. Let's go ahead and get our replicator turned on here. And then this is, this is so freaking amazingly simple. Let's select the item. We selected it now. Click on the button. You see here, it pulled everything into our inventory. Now watch. Like normal, just hit repair. That's that easy. That's how easy it is. I'm so, so happy that we've got the replicator. I mean, got the, the pull system in here from Superstructures. It's amazing. I'm, I'm so, so glad that it's able, we're able to finally get it, get it on here and get it working. So I know that there are multiple stages of this mod coming to Ark Survival Ascended, and it will be coming out. I think the next stage, the next drop should be in next month or in December, a couple of days away. It's going to probably be in the middle of December or something like that. I would imagine there's no exact date or exact date. I shouldn't. I don't know why I said it like that. My mouth don't work, y'all. I'm sorry. But there's no exact date, but it said sometime in December will be the next drop, which will be our utility tools. So anyways, if you found any of this helpful, please make sure you all smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment down below what you all want to see in the next one. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.